Welcome to the session on what's new in SAP Business One. Version 10, Feature Pack 2208, hosted by Cloudiax. This session will cover the highlights from the web client, administration, financial management, sales, purchasing and service. And finally, we will discuss security improvements. Please note that localization specific improvements can be found in the link below. Let's start with the many improvements for the web client. Addition of the SAP Horizons theme. In the settings dialog, under Appearance, the Horizon option is available on the Theme tab. The Horizon theme in Web Client adopts the color scheme and tile style of the Horizon visual theme for SAP Fiori. This is what we will be using for the rest of this demo. Transaction number and journal entry quick view. On the general tab of the following documents, you can now view and select transaction numbers to open a quick view with journal entry details. This is available on deliveries, AR invoices and credit memos, AP invoices and credit memos, goods receipt POs, and goods issue and receipt documents. Distribution rules for cost centers are now supported in marketing documents, bills of materials, issues for production, and receipts from production. If the Use Multi Dimensions checkbox is selected in the SAP Business One client under the Cost Accounting tab of the General Settings window, the selection in the Display Distribution Rules field in separate columns is not applied in the web client. Distribution rules for multiple dimensions are displayed in one column. New sales apps for return requests are available in the Sales group. With these apps, you can carry out various actions, such as creating and viewing new return requests, editing existing return requests, copy return requests to returns, or A or credit memos, depending on whether it is based from a delivery or AR invoice. And finally, you can view return requests in the relationship map. The following new documents are available in the purchasing group, purchase requests, goods return requests, and AP reserve invoices. With these apps, you can carry out various actions, such as create new documents, view or edit existing documents, copy documents to target documents, and lastly, view these documents in the relationship maps. Packing slips are now available in deliveries and AR invoices. If authorized, you can add and update packing slips in edit mode. In view mode, you can preview and print packing slips. The following enhancements have been made on sales orders, purchase orders, return requests, and goods return requests. On the logistics tab of the detailed view, the checkbox approved is renamed confirmed. Two new fields confirmed by and confirmed on are added, showing if a document is confirmed, by whom, and when. The document status that displays unapproved when the checkbox is deselected is renamed not confirmed. In the filter bar of the list view, the filter approved is renamed confirmed. You can use two new filters, confirmed by and confirmed on. You can now add new attachments by dragging and dropping files or emails onto the attachments tab. In edit or create mode, you can now open attachments in the web client. Select an uploaded attachment to display or download the attachment. You can now send out multiple emails when you select up to 20 records in the list view of marketing documents. The setup of Microsoft 365 integration is required. Use the new option multiple emails with PDF attachments in the email options window to send separate emails containing one PDF attachment of one record. After you send the emails, you can check the corresponding email log in the Business One client. When you are working with marketing documents and you want to choose an alternative item from a certain warehouse, you can now select the warehouse in the marketing document header to see the respective quantities. In the Inventory Transactions group, the Goods Receipt document and Inventory Counting transaction is now available. With these apps, you can perform various actions like search and filter goods receipts and inventory counting. View and manage different views of goods receipt and inventory counting lists. View, edit, and create goods receipts and inventory counting document. You can close one or more inventory counting transactions. Currently, creating goods receipts with serial batch items or bin location warehouses is not supported. Counting by multiple units of measure, serial numbers, and batches is not supported in the web client. Counting documents that adopt those counting methods are read only in the web client. A new group for production is now available. This group includes bills of material, 
production orders, issues for production, and receipts from production. With these apps, you can carry out various tasks, such as searching, viewing and filtering bills of materials, production orders, issues for production, and receipts from production. It is possible to create and edit bills of materials, issues for production, and receipts from production. You can view the structure of the bills of materials in relationship maps. Currently, you can view read-only production orders, but cannot create new or edit existing production orders at this time. When you are creating manual journal entries, you can now edit the automatic tax drop-down list on the general tab. If yes is selected, once you select a GL account and the tax information is specified in a journal entry row, a row for the tax transaction is automatically created. The value is not editable once the journal entry is added. Service contracts are now available on the web client. You can view existing contracts or create new ones. With the apps, you can carry out the following tasks. View, filter and manage service contracts between business partners and your company. You can approve single or multiple service contracts. If there are service calls associated with the contracts, you can view and open related service calls. Create service contracts manually or from predefined contract templates. Here are the improvement highlights in administration. You can now determine the number of messages and alerts that are displayed by default in the Messages Alerts Overview window. Once authorized, you can now clean up messages and alerts created for you both before and on specific dates or for all users of the same company in the Messages Alerts Overview window. As a super user, you now have direct access from the user's setup window to the authorizations and license administration windows. Here are the improvement highlights in sales, purchasing, and service. The rules that are set in the tax code determination window are now applicable to purchase requests, regardless of whether the purchase requests are created alone, from other source documents, or through the procurement confirmation wizard. For AR invoices and AR credit memos, a new checkbox called Block editing of item service descriptions in copied rows is available on the per document tab in the document settings. This makes the descriptions of items or services uneditable for lines that are copied from deliveries, air invoices, or returns. The checkbox is not selected by default. Here are the improvement highlights in system security. Passwords for SAP users can now contain up to 128 characters for additional security. The SAP Business One application supports identity and authentication management. An identity provider is a trusted provider that lets you use single sign-on to access other websites. SSO enhances usability by reducing password fatigue. It also provides better security by decreasing the potential attack surface. You can configure identity providers and user bindings from the SAP System Landscape Directory Control Center by using the following approaches. SAP Business One Unified User Authentication, Microsoft Windows Domain Account Authentication, or OpenID Connect. You can now add Active Directory Federation Service or Azure Active Directory as an external identity provider. In addition, more external identity providers are planned for support in future releases. When binding users in the SLD Control Center, you can perform central user management actions, such as resetting user passwords for SAP Authentication Server users activating or deactivating external IDP user accounts, which affect all bound users across companies in SAP. For more information about the behavior changes, see the guide Identity and Authentication Management in SAP Business One on the Help Portal. A link to the documentation can be found below. For a complete guide of what's new in SAP, visit the link below. If you have any questions, visit our website at www.aclaros.com. We look forward to connecting.